Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. That's right, it's here. It's finally the Shuttle demo for Ixion. Sector one empowered and pressurized. Oh god, just love watching the lights come on. And here we are in our space. It is advertised as a frost punk in space. So let's see if it holds up to that idea and all the stuff we've been watching throughout the development. Okay, this guy's eating a bit of an apple here. I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks person. Yes, introduce me to my I'm tasks. Bill Lowe's cryonics lead. All right, so essentially it's up to us. Thanks, uh, Giovanni, for that uh, d mighty discussion. It's uh, it's up to us to manage the day-to-day -day operations of this base. And there's a couple of different views, right? There's base view here, which you're gonna the controls, the camera controls, you're gonna have to get used to, like uh, W and S kind of move around rather than uh, zoom in and zoom out or move up and down. Uh, and then our left to right are kind of all along the entire ring. So you can see down here, we're going through different sections of the ship. So post demo in the actual release of the game, I assume we'll be able to unlock these parts of the ship here and then, you know, build to our heart's content. But so far, this is the area that we have uh, under our control. And then if you scroll out, see this line here, if you scroll out just a bit more, boom, we are in Ixion view. Look at this beautiful thing. This is awesome. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's not the Ixion. The project is called Ixion. This is called the Tycoon, I believe, uh, which is a great name. Uh, <laughs> the Tycoon, because it is, in fact, a space station tycoon. So let's get started with that. And then there's, of course, there's a final view here, if you scroll even more, and or hit this button that takes you to what is eventually going to be more than just the solar system, but the galaxy view. It's going to get wild. But the first thing we have to do is build a workshop. Okay, so there's tutorial views here, but we don't need those. We're just going to figure it out. So you go down to your build menu. Let's do a road from here all the way down to there. Yes, very good. And I'm going to put the workshop uh, somewhere. I'm going to put the workshop, like, right here, I guess. Why not? I'm going to put the workshop right there. And then I want to put a stockpile in. So I'm going to get this stockpile here and kind of zoom in. Yeah, see, it's hard to zoom in. Like, I really want to zoom in on this spot here, but I can't quite... <laughs> Get the camera to... <laughs> it's a little jerky, but I, it works. Oh, and it zooms me back out. Let's put it right here. Let's put it right here. This is good, because this could create a little uh, situation for, you know, where we put all of them or something. I don't know. All of our uh, stockpiles and, and production facilities. And then to get... Oh, that's built right away. Okay, beautiful. Uh, we need to ass assign it to alloys right here. Okay, great. So it looks like there's actually going to be a bunch of resources here. Alloys... Uh, electronics, polymers, humans. Oh, cryonic pods. Oh, cool. So you can have like a bunch of pod storage down here. That's very cool. It looks like there's going to be a lot of different resource chains that we're going to have to organize to survive. So I can see where it becomes kind of frost punky, right? Because it's like we're going to need electricity to keep running. We're going to need food to keep everybody alive, etc., etc. Let's connect up these roads here because what we want to do is we want to you know, deconstruct all of this metal. This is very frost punky, right? We want to get rid of all these resources here. Well, not get rid of them, but we want to use them all. 
Are they already coming to our, our area? I'm not sure if they are or not. Are you set for alloy? Oh, there we go. I didn't set it for alloy. That's why. Because I clicked on it again by accident. So let's, like, select this. Let's select this. I don't know. Let's select this one. Let's just, like, start collecting all those alloys and bring them into here. Because we got to collect 40 alloys. Which I don't think is going to be a problem. And I'm just going to jump ahead. Because I'm just curious. Like, what is next on our, our structures list? It's unlocked housing for us. Crew quarters. Very cool. Oh, and the middle mouse button uh, will rotate things. So that's good to know. It's unlocked structures, a docking bay, which I think we already have. Oh, that's so cool. Does the docking bay, can you see the docking bay if I zoom out? Where is like the section that we're building? Oh, I think that's it, maybe. Yeah, I think this is the docking bay right here. So if I build things like docking bays, I will see them physicalized on the outside of the ship as well. Hopefully we can see some things, but now there's an incoming uh, 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 communication. All right, Emma Klein here has gotten us started on the next uh, part of our mission, which is that we need to, you know, feed people, of course. And there's also something called the DLS, or the Data Listening System. And that's just basically going to give me population management and just kind of, I, I believe it just keeps track of, you know, what, what's going on and what people need here. And we've got, oh, we've got something here. Tycoon crew members currently have no means of collecting food supplies from storage. Any crisis due to an influx of hungry crew, this could be a problem. Uh, refectories can be used to both ration and distribute food provisions in a stellar habitation setting. Uh, a commitment to providing food for the crew would reaffirm your position as a competent administrator. Competent! Okay, so the data listening protocol is basically how I'm going to get little side, you know, Frostpunk style missions. And I hate to keep saying Frostpunk, but that's, you know, it was put. It was a bug put in my head. Yeah, that's perfect. This fits right here. And then if we put another one... Oh, if we do one more, okay, then we can get roads to... Whatever this entrance thing is here. And then bring that road there. And then let's digest. Let's digest this thing. Can I have this? I want it. Okay, maybe later. Maybe it'll let me have it later. All right, so that's a refractory. So we got a couple of those coming in. And then I think we should build some housing. I'm just going to jump ahead. I know it's not asked me for housing yet, but like, come on. We know what's about to happen. We've played these games before. <laughs> I know they want houses. So I'm going to put a row of three houses right there. We're going to need some more alloy, so I'm going to get those. Oh, and, oh, hang on. Resource type. Yeah, yeah, food. Okay, so we need to build another, let's build another uh, stockpile right here. There we are, and that one's going to hold all our food. And then what other resources are out here? There's, ro uh, what is that? That's, oh, these are just unconnected from roads. And then underneath us has what they have. So alloys, and then these little guys, little green... The, the uh, polymers. Okay, so let's build another <laughs> stockpile. I might be jumping ahead of the tutorial a little bit, but I'm going to build another stockpile and get some uh, polymer storage going ASAP because I know it's, you know, come on, let's be honest, it's coming up. Now, I don't know why I can't get this uh, this thing yet, but we'll, we'll wait and see what's going on there. And then if I wanted to put more houses up in this section here, um, one, two, three. Okay, so the road needs to go out. One, two, three. There, like that. So that'll connect up to this. We can take this apart, bring this road down, and put even more housing right there. So that's going to look really good. Okay, this should be... Oh, these are being built right now. Coming together very well so far, I think. Here's one ref ref refectory. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a refectory does. But it seems to be... I mean, I know what it functionally does. It's making food, I think? Do we have any one of these built yet? Can we... Let's make this high-priority construction. Oh, yeah. Now they're working on it. I love the animation. Like, watch the animation when it gets built here. Oh, never mind. That was too fast. Wait. Is it not built yet? <laughs> oh, this is just like the scaffolding, maybe? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I'm waiting for one of these to get built. And then I want to, like, show you how cool it looks. Yeah, this part here. Okay, look at this. Oh, no, the camera. <laughs> There we go. Look at this, and then I just make the camera run away. I love this sort of, like, heat map, sort of gradual increase as the buildings are finished. The houses are a little more modular, but the same kind of idea. The animations just look so cool. And there, I, I, there's kind of an audio situation going on. There's a little bit of, like, a, you know, we're kind of getting a sense of, like, you know, the world around us moving. Okay, we got another uh, PD, PDS. What's it called? Memory thing. Some crew members have no quarters to live in. During human history, unnecessary homelessness has always been an, an indicator of a civilization in decay. Okay, that's fair. 12 cycles. Yeah, I can do housing in 12 cycles, I think. Data listening protocol. That's what it's called. I gotta remember that. 
So I need to feed 200 crew. Okay, great. And I need to create homes for 85 citizens. And I've already made th homes for 30. This is plugged in, so we'll get this digested in that one. This one's not ready to digest for some reason. I don't know why. And I don't know why I'm calling it digest, but like deconstruct or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, let's get all that food in here so we can feed people. Okay, and let's see what this transmission's all about. Man, a lot to do. Ah, Marduk is Francais. Bonjour. You could say this in French if you wanted. Writer, writer, philosopher, and lobbyist. Okay, all right. But I have, to, even so, they are a small. Please assign a cargo ship to administrate. All right, so basically, Henri is telling us uh, that we do not have enough food uh, to feed all our people. Even with these refectories, we need to build a cargo ship. Uh, there's a lot going on here. We've got a lot of little tasks, but I think we got to build a. Oh, and a science ship. So obviously, I'm going to click on this. Uh, available ships. Select a ship to assign. Okay, wait, hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay. There. All right. Yeah, build those. So, okay, we need those uh, polymers now, so I'll get to do that. I guess ships are made out of 100% polymer. Who knew? You know what I mean? Who knew? So there we are. Let's digest all of that stuff. Let's get this 45er over here. Oh, they got through that house finally. Or that little, like... A uh, piece of whatever at the bottom again and for those of you watching this video and who have decided to stick around uh, You know, thanks and welcome to the channel, but also like I'm sorry. I keep saying digest I don't know why I, I it's stuck in my head and now that's all I can think is just like digest these things It's deconstruct or decom decompile or something It's gonna keep calling it digest. I think all right, so let's get some housing in here I'm not sure if I'm overspending. That's the only issue But I think I need that many houses. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I need that many houses. Okay, so we've got one ship complete, which looks like our... Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. <laughs> oh, it's gone already. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to the camera controls because that is a bit spicy, but it's fun. All right, so that was our... Oh, both our ships. Construct a science ship in the docking bay. Configure the cargo ship to retrieve food from the fleet management window. Okay, so we have our cargo ship built. And it's building the science ship now, probably. That's what's happening. So the fleet management window. Here we go. Fleet management. Yeah, configure the cargo ship to retrieve food from the fleet management. Just like in general. Just go get food somehow. From Barboot. Oh, that's the ship's name. Okay. So yeah, just like go find food somehow. Okay. Oh, this is very cool so far. Okay, so what do we got here? This is our... Science ship. It looks like it's been now complete. I love the the. I would love to hear like a like some alarms and stuff. But there is a pretty nice sound design. Like you can kind of hear some uh, the vibe of what's going on. Okay, let's do this here. Let's get this stuff. And that yeah, that we're gonna continue to digest into here, and then people are gonna keep eating it, so that'll be gone soon. Let's get let's get these things dealt with and bring those over here. I'm gonna build another stockpile. I feel like, right? I don't know. I just want another alloy stockpile so we can just have a stockpile of alloys. Now, the other thing to pay attention to, of course, is your hull integrity. Trust with the administrator, I guess. Trust in me. Oh, yeah. So similar to Frostpunk, if this gets too low, I'm probably fired. I'll be replaced as the administrator. Cargo ship has come in with 50 food. I wonder if we zoomed out enough if we'd be able to see the cargo ship fly up and then dock. I'm gonna have to try to catch that because that would be just an absolute... A day maker for me. <laughs> okay, and then of course we have here our electricity. So uh, we have 41 of 60 that we're producing. And I don't see any health infirmary. Oh, we probably want an infirmary, don't we? And a factory, a tech lab. Woof. That's a big boy. Let's leave that big boy for now. Let's get this infirmary built. Just because I feel like if it's, if it's a solid content channel, like that means these people are going to die soon. So let's get that done. Okay, there we go. We'll configure this for alloys. There we are. So we're collecting all the... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I love that. Just love seeing the way the scaffolding is put up. Okay, so there's two steps. First, they put up the scaffolding, and now they're putting up the actual details. And it just kind of heat maps on and into existence. And now we have a completely functional... Can I zoom into it? I do not know. Folks, I apologize. You know, I just got the game, the demo, and I'm, and you need to try it, of course, as well. But I just do not 
quite get the camera moves just yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's somewhat intuitive, though, I will say. I'm kind of getting the flow of what we're supposed to be doing, really. Although what it says here is we're supposed to be doing is resolving the moon event. So, let, yeah, let's... You know what I mean? Let's, let's resolve that moon event. So let's scroll out here. Where's the moon? So this, I believe, is... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's... That's probably Neptune. And then that's Mercury. <laughs> I'm just being a jerk. That's the moon. All right, let's go there. To the moon. I think it's in, it's probably in here. So we're going to go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This makes sense. So the moon event. Let's click on this. Moon, abandoned base camp. Summary of intelligence collected from the abandoned base camp. The base is out of communication. Communi commission? Well, I can't read. Or right. Auxiliary systems are operational and may be used to restore power. There is an average probability of finding resources. Waiting for a science ship. We have a science ship. The Faraday. Awesome name for it. We got five crew on board. Oh, cool. If I hold down alt, does that do anything? Should we just go to Neptune? Or Mars? No, let's not. Let's do it. Let's resolve the moon event. So do I left click? I think I'm going to left click. There we are. There's the... There's our science ship science going out. Ship Sorry, the camera again, the camera. Destination. Amazing. Summary of intelligence collected from the abandoned base camp. The base camp is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and may be used to restore power. There's an average probability of finding resources. Yeah, that's fine. The radio surveillance system is functional. It is abandoned and depressurized. Uh, oh, let's exploit the vulnerability, I feel like. You know what I mean? Because, like, don't we want to see what's in there? That'll give us some more information. In the meantime, if I press F1, there we go. That'll take us back here, and we can continue managing these pieces, making sure that we're, uh, you know, soaking up the available resources around. And this one, too. I might have clicked on too many. There's, like, a lot. There's, like, maybe too much going on right now. Kind of going to want to keep through it, working through this and maybe put up another docking bay or something. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, do you think that's ready now? Let's go take a look. The summary of the intelligence transition... Wait, we did that already. I thought we did... Time required to complete. Do it. Maybe it's doing it. Hard to tell. Oh, cancel. Okay, so it's, it's being done. I just probably have to let it go for a bit. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it alone for a bit while we work on this. So what else can we build down here? I mean, we probably want to build yeah, food structures. The only thing we haven't built really is this docking bay. Oh, and the uh, and the tech lab. So let's get that tech lab up. But how are we doing for power? 47 of 60. Our food stores seem to be holding up. Does that tell us how we're doing? Sector average balance 6.4 over 5 cycles. Oh, so we're at exactly at zero. I mean, that's fine, I guess. It's probably because of our deliveries. Our deliveries are probably holding it, you know, holding us in a good spot. Uh, let's see. What else can we build here that's going to take, you know, that cost some... Should I just build another stockpile, I guess? I'll just build another stockpile. We have so many alloys, and I want them readily at my, dispo at my disposable. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, if we can clear all this out, we can build the lab right here. That would be a good spot for the lab, I think. Here we go. Let's alloy that. So we'll get those, this done here. 50 and 50. So that's, it's going to hold 100. So, yeah, it's probably just going to be this area that we that we use. All right. This is filling up pretty... Oh, I think we're just taking it from this one first. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, hopefully there'll be some other stuff to build in the meantime. Or what I could do is just start building willy-nilly. Like, build, I had a plan kind of building out, right? Like, this was going to be my housing section all near the medical facility. They come down here, they go to work. Um, you know. Should we build some more food for them? They, just, they seem to be doing okay food-wise. Okay, has the moon event resolved? Oh, Sector 6 is inactive. Okay. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to figure out how to unlock these sectors here. I see. So I, I assume I have to research it. I assume it's going to be in the research panel, which I believe is this thing, the technology tree. I just, I just don't have it yet. So long story short, I restarted the game because the the uh, chapter, I guess, wasn't being triggered. But that happens in Demo Land. I'm just being honest with you. And that's why you'll notice that the ship is now re renamed the Ripley. I think the Ripley is having much better success, as we can see a some things happening here. Yes, okay. Now we're moving on. 
Uh, we found that uh, we hacked into the main computer system as you ordered. I did order that. And found several relevant search papers, research papers, and data sets. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's dismantle the camp then. And let's move on. So that's going to take... Okay, yeah, we can see the progress bar. So whatever that was is now resolved. It definitely seems to be behaving more normally. Uh, and things are happening. I wasn't going crazy. Like I said, that's demo land. Okay, it just happens sometimes. Let's get rid of that stuff here. I'm not really sure. We're just going to wait to resolve the moon event and then find out, I assume, I hope, fingers crossed, that that's going to trigger the next thing. But as you can see here, we've got our living quarters. Wish I could zoom in a little more. Oh, no. Oh, the camera. Oh, the camera. Ugh. But I do like... Okay, there we go. This is kind of a decent view. Oh, yeah, look at this. Like a dude hanging out on the balcony. There's all the people walking to and from work. All of the, uh, the mechs, I believe. Oh, those are transporters. And then there's mechs that do the construction... And uh, there's one other thing, I think. I forget what it is. I don't know where it is. Uh, but we'll see. Like a little yellow guy that comes out as well. But this is, like, looking pretty good. This is all coming together really nicely. We've completed the action. I believe the moon event is resolved. We got another 40 science and 30 alloys out of that. So let's, uh, I assume let's... 67, 67. What's going on here? What's this? Oh, we're, okay, we're mining the... Okay, this is great. So maybe if I send a cargo ship there, that'll collect the alloys? I'm not 100% sure if that's how that might work. Oh, I think it is how that would work. But I don't really want to pull the cargo ship off of my other stuff. I want it to just collect all that research instead. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the cargo ship getting food shipments because 30 alloys, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be that much. Let's see what Eden has for us now. I have an incoming oh, the head of medicine. Okay. Greetings, Administrator. I'm yes. Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Nice to meet you, Abhinav. I'm glad, but you'll then be... I hope that the... Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remove... All right, so we're going to construct the next big piece called the Vol Engine. So to do that, I need a tech lab. So we do need this. Uh, let's see our tech... Oh, the tech tree. Okay, so we can't... Okay, let's build a tech lab so we can access the tech tree. I really, as I said before, I really wanted to put the tech lab here, but since we've restarted the game, I'm wondering if... Oh, this is great. Okay, so you're done on the moon now. We could go get those alloys, but instead, let's have you, I guess, return to... Not Earth, but like the... Our, our thing. Eh, whatever. I think I think that means you're coming back. Let's see if, that, if they come back. Oh, no, wait, let's zoom out. Can we see the science ship returning? There's the docking port. Keeping an eye on it, I don't really see a science ship. There's the moon. It would be coming from there, I guess. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know if the science ship came back or not. It seems like we have it inside our hold, so I, maybe it's, you know, I missed that piece or whatever. Let's bring this road out here. Now, what we need to do is rethink our little situation because I'm, it's going to take a while to get that food out of there and all eaten up. So we need to put the science lab somewhere else. And I, I know before the replay, before the reset here, I was going to put a medical facility right there. How wide is that? It's only three wide. So I could potentially put that there. So it needs to be like that. Oh, that would actually fit. I could put the medical facility right next to this, this lab. All I have to do is deconstruct this road here. There we are. And then I need this road to keep going forward. So that I can eventually, yeah, I gotta digest that as I as I as I say. But that's pretty good. Let's get this lab built right here. Yeah, that's kind of like down the street from all the housing. So like that makes sense to me. Okay, let's collect that. Health facility placed. Oh, this is coming together real nice. I'm wondering if the game, once we get this uh, technology tree, we might see what there is out there to unlock. But I'm wondering if the game will give us access to things like. Um, you know, decorations, like f fountains. Are there, there going to be fountains in this game? I don't know if there's going to be fountains. I'm just thinking of city skylines, I guess. I'd like to put a little, like, a small park right here, a dog park. Oh, love it. Okay. So, yeah, again, if I do this, that's a four, a three by three space. I'm not even sure what it could fit there. Yeah, I kind of can't fit anything there. So that space is, this might have to be redesigned in a second here. But in the meantime, let's at least make sure that we're getting... Some of that. And yeah, lining up our roads here. Uh, oh, let's do... Actually, let's yeah, keep that going forward. So we can get all of that. I just want to have... Make sure they have access to all of these things. 
while we wait for this tech lab to be warped in or, or, or you know, slowly, um, I don't know, soldered together. It looks so awesome. I love that. I really like the vibes of this game, and I do like the creativity of it. I, at, the, at its core, there is still, you know, it is still a grid placer, but there's something about it that just, oh, we didn't need that road. There's, some, there's something about it that just makes it seem um, just alive. Now, here's my concern. This tech lab, how much electricity? That's going to be 12, and this is going to be 3. We actually might not want to build this medic facility. I don't even I don't know if we actually need it in, you know, in the demo or whatever. I'm going to pause this and take a look here because it is now up. So we have so we have one electricity left. So we really can't build this guy. Uh, but let's see what we got going on here. Technology tree. Oh, cool. So this is all stuff I've researched here. Citizenship. Tycoon hull. Uh, engine. Okay, so we've we've researched all this. Oh, oh, solar panels. Okay, okay, here we go. More power. Let's do this. Research EVA airlock in the technology tree. All right. EVA airlock. Let's go EVA airlock and research that sucker. All right, it's going to take 1.6 cycles. I'm going to speed up time, and we'll get that done. And then that's going to give us... Uh, we need these roads to be complete, because I bet we're going to build an airlock, and I wager it's going up against this wall. So let's preemptively start collecting all this crap <laughs> and clearing this area out so we can be prepared for the future. Oh, excellent. Okay, well, they made short work of that. Great work, fellas. That's coming together. All right, the EVA airlock is now done, so we gotta build it. And it's in structures, here we go. Okay, so, ah, uh, it fits perfectly! So I'm actually gonna put it one more over, and that's also gonna leave kind of an empty dead space there, which is annoying. However, I really want it to be symmetrical with this sector one sign and this other thing. So they're gonna build that, that's gonna take 100 alloys. How many do I have left? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good for alloys. Collect all these alloys when you get a sec, folks. Okay, what else? We have 50 research. What else can we... You know what? I should I should hang on and make sure that we actually can research the things they want us to. All right, so this is getting built now. The EVA airlock is coming along nicely. This area here, I imagine we could build probably some more homes or something in that spot. Yeah, so it's not quite perfectly lined up. If I had built this one over, that would have fit really nicely together. And I do think that's going to be a big element of this game is like the, the tetrising of things together. That's going to be a big important thing. Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, wait, hang on. Administrator, reports are being... Crew members are being overworked. I request additional staff from the... Uh, I guess we can get some more people over, yeah. I got a, I got a problem to deal with, though. I totally forgot. Incoming transmission. Okay, pause the game. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> oh, no. External solar panel. Okay. I mean, maybe I'm wondering if... I mean, if I hadn't have built all these, maybe we'd be okay, but... Deactivate buildings in the power management view to reduce electricity consumption. 71 of 60. Okay, let's deactivate this bad boy. Turn back on. Oh, oh, there's a timer. There's a cooldown timer. Okay. Oh, that is punishing. So you got to be careful if you overload it. You do not want to power her down. Sweet. Okay. Tutorial over. Okay, wait, wait. Where's that overwork one? Okay, overwork. So that means there's not enough staff to run everything, and they're going to start being injured. And we have nine homeless people as well. What? What are they making more people? Or did those people that we requested show up already? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's build like three of those. And then, uh, oh wait, they're gonna cost power. Build a section of solar panels. Hang on. Oh, they only take one. Okay, so let's pause this guy. And let's pause that guy. We can build one more, but we need to build the solar panels first. Let's go external here. And uh, exterior view. And the vol engine. Okay, build a section of solar panel. Oh, cool. Oh, 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 oh. Oh yes, oh, so cool. Okay, how many alloys do I have? 80. So we could go with this big boy, and that's going to get us 40 power. We can go with a small boy for 25, or 100. Oh, we don't have the alloys for that. Let's build it. Yes. Okay, let's build that. Where'd it go? Here it is. 
It's on this one. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm just, I'm kind of excited. I'm excited to see what this is. And, and trying to figure out the camera. Are they building it? There it is. We're coming around. Here's the construction. I just wait for it to rotate a bit. There it is. Oh, it's looking good. The Tycoon now has solar panels and 100 in terms of uh, electrical electrical capacity. I'm turning. I'm switching this guy back on, and I'm gonna uh, uh, resume this and resume that and resume that because now we're gonna have. We've got uh, housing, we've got a clinic, and we've, we're back in science. We're doing science. Oh, I construct the Vol engine now, so we have to do that as well. So let's go back to the exterior view. And, uh, oh man, there's so many solar panel sets. And it really resets the camera a lot. Vol engine for 100 alloys. Oh boy, fingers crossed that we actually have those on the base. Oh, this is very cool, okay. Uh, interior view. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna be good. That's 90 right there alone, so that's gonna that's gonna take care of that. We're now sitting at 77 of 100, and we have a decent little situation going on. I think we're gonna need a significant amount more food, though, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're losing food per cycle. However, we still have food. Oh, because we're getting food from the cargo ship. Will this food fit right here? Can I just put some more reclaimers? Almost. Okay, let's get rid of this road we didn't never needed. Now let's put some more rec rec reclaimers here. Or, uh, ref refactorizers. And let's pause. Let's cancel that one, actually. How do I cancel this guy? Pause. Uh, oh, I'll probably just go in here and delete it. Okay, and then I'm gonna build it actually one over. There we go. That's going to work out really nice. That's going to look nice. And I'm going to keep going, actually, because we can build another... How many is this? Uh, eh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. There we go. That's the future. Uh, that's, we're going to have a major food section over here. Uh, hopefully we don't actually waste all of our materials. It looks like the Vol engine has been completed. Oh, that is cool. Okay, I'm incoming transmission. The different phases of preparation, calibration, oh, good for me. and verification were successfully <laughs> completed. That's good for me. Now I was warned by the medical guy that this could be dangerous. And test colonization oh, sweet. Before you do so, the founder wants to talk Hello, to me. Okay. I'm glad hey, buddy. To see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. I was just thinking the same thing, dude. I'm also very proud. That this is not we this through do the tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Oh, Do you recognize I couldn't why agree more. I have done all of this? I, well, I Having assume because it's like if it, you get fate, a lot of money and marketing. I fixated on altering it. <laughs> I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. I love it. Farewell. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. That is huge. Let's take a look. What is this tutorial telling us about EKP? Uh, electrokinetic propulsors enable movement of the tycoon between stellar objects and various points of interest within a planetary system. I love it. Issuing orders. We click on the tycoon object. Okay, so let's do that. Hull deterioration. We have to be careful because it is going to deteriorize the hull a bit. All right. Um... Okay, so go into the galaxy view. Wait, we're, move the tycoon into the orbit of the moon. Oh boy, okay, okay. Do we have our cargo ship? Like, where is our cargo ship? Oh well, let's hope it comes with us, I guess. So move, oh, so I've selected this, and here we go. Initiate tycoon movement. Oh baby, look at this thing. It's an animatic, but I still love it. This is, this is amazing. All right, this is the stuff we saw in the trailers. This is the movement of our beautiful, beautiful ship. I think. Oh, it's getting into position. So should the moon, oh, there it is! We did it! We're in orbit around the moon. Hopefully I'm not messing anything up with my uh, ridiculous camera movements. All right, 
We are now in orbit of the... We're in the orbit of the moon. What's next? Things are humming along quite nicely here. We're just going to deconstruct the rest of these things. And that is it for our alloys. We have a transmission coming in. Because of your continued oh, successful well, thank you. of the tycoon, oh, we're doing it. We're doing it, folks. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Okay, so that could be an issue, actually. If they're going to send me a whole lot of people, we're going to need more food and uh, uh, accommodations, I guess. But um, I guess I'm just a little worried about that because... Oh, no. I think that's them. Oh, no. Oh, boy. How many alloys do I have in total? I have 76 alloys. I'm already at 92 of 100. Um, the food situation is... Okay, I'm ready for that. These only cost... That's 40 alloys. I can only build, like, one more food producer and I I think I'm going to need a lot more homes soon if that's what's okay at least they're bringing us food that's nice of them but let's take a look at this system jump and find out what happens the Vol engine enables space travel between planetary systems in order to use the Vol engine it requires charging for a period of time during this all the tycoon's power is redirected oh boy uh, batteries will activate for the duration of the charge. If your battery is empty during this period and provo provoke a blackout, the blackout will be automatically resolved so that we don't have batteries. We have not researched that. We are pre-batteries. We are a spacefaring people that are pre-battery. It's highlighting and saying I can research something. Oh, wait. Can I research, like, uh, the homes? Crew quarters. Oh, <laughs> I wish. 60. <laughs> All right, we'll deal with that later because right now I want to do a vol jump. So, initiate the vol jump planetary system menu map. The vol charging jump. Vol engine. Oh, charge it! Oh, no. Okay, so if I go back to this phase here. Yeah, I've got 200 homeless people now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I can build homes pretty easily, but they do take three power. And we're at 100 of 100, probably because we're about to jump. Here it is. The vol engine is powered up. Can I go to this view and see the engine? Okay, it's, it's charging, I guess. It's not powered up in a in sort of a sense that I can Full see it or anything. Engine, oh, oh, boy, folks. You saw it here first. Hopefully, the tycoon is about to initiate a vol jump. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. For, for all of these cutscenes and all of these videos and things that we've been watching, I will say that the devs behind this game seem to have a sort of a cinematic flair. They have a flair for the cinematic. They know what a good shot looks like, and that just ups my excitement for this game and my immersion in what we're doing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope you enjoyed this first episode. This is us playing the demo for uh, Ixion. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, then please wishlist it. Please go to the Steam page, download the demo, and play it for yourself. For, you know, test your early layouts of your base. And let's dive in to Ixion together. Ooh, good timing, Peter. The Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children, to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster 
than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine.